Uh, our DMs are open at Ben and Kelly Show. You can uh, shoot us a message and, you know, maybe we can help you out by tossing it out to our listeners and seeing what we can do for you. It says, please help Ben and Kelly and listeners. We have someone at our workplace who takes time off during every holiday. This person makes it so that no one else can take time off because the days are already marked off on the calendar before anyone else can get a chance to. Mm. Our boss doesn't care. We're told to work it out amongst ourselves. Mm. The problem is no one wants to say anything to this person in order to avoid conflict. Any suggestions to avoid this happening next year? Bah, humbug. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I I mean, your boss should manage that. Probably. I mean, but we're working out amongst yourselves. I mean, but we're not talking to your boss. We're talking to you and trying to figure out how to, I guess, navigate that with just amongst the employees. Yeah, that's I mean, it's really kind of not up to them to work it out. It should be management if they have to have certain amount of people in the office over the holidays to cover everything, then why don't you do like a a rotating schedule? It's tough because I know everybody wants to have time off with their families around the holidays. And I know like in certain industries, like for us, there are certain times that we're not supposed to be taking time off. Holidays is usually where we got to squeeze all that in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I mean, I think... I, I think you probably need to have the, this is a case where I feel like you need to have a group of people like in the office kind of approach this person. Ooh, that's confrontational. And then like how, how that's going to like make the vibe weird. That person's going to feel attacked. Either that, right? either that or put your vacation in January 1st. Yes. For for this, you know, for this next year, you know, uh, like jump in on that as early as possible. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the key. But. But again, if you want. Uh, you cut out there. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that I, I, I don't necessarily disagree with a, a, a talking to this person. I know you don't want there to be any sort of conflict or don't want there to be any sort of awkwardness, but. You know, if the manager's not going to do anything, then if if you and a few other people in the 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 office say, "Hey, let's," uh, yeah, and then this person would be like, "Well, I always take this time off." Yeah. So, how I mean, about we just send this over to your boss so they know, "Hey, this is your department." You're this, to yeah, you and need to do this. this. <laughs> you, <laughs> exactly. need, you need to say, "Yeah, no, you can't." Yeah, if you need some outsiders to like tell them, "Hey, that's probably your job." We'd be happy to do that for you. And you know, if uh, Gretchen has a good suggestion, where it's like chain of command, if the if their immediate supervisor is not doing anything, it, do they have a boss? Oh yeah, that it doesn't sound like they have like an HR department. I don't know. I it, I don't know. And but yes, maybe there is the HR department where it's like, hey, this person is, is there an a uh, uh, compromise here? Because this, I like what Erica says. I'm petty. I would, as a group, go to the boss and say, we couldn't work it out amongst ourselves, so we're just going to be closed X, Y, Z days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, we tried to work it out. We couldn't. Yeah, so sorry. Here's, here's what we came up with. This is when I'm going to be taking off, and I guess this other person's taking off that same time. And so everybody now else is, too. it's your problem. <laughs> and, I like that. All right, that's a very... That might send a message. That's a very confrontational way to do that. So, right. Um, but yes, I, I think first, let's see if your boss has a boss or sure. an HR department that you can go to first. Right. And say, listen, this is a recurring problem. Kind of not fair for one person to be able to take off this time and nobody else gets to. Or how about we entertain the fact that um, most of more than one person gets to take time off? How about that? Or you. Yes. And, and whoever it is. It, whether you're a group or you've elected a spokesperson to be this person to talk to the boss's boss, make right. sure that you stamp your foot and like throw with temp. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> be calm and professional about it. <laughs> Get firm in your statement. Now, we got another text. I used to work at a doctor's office where two ladies always got the holidays off every year. So it's like, why waste putting my time in? It sucked because I wanted time off, too. So I don't know if it's a first come first serve thing, but I think next year, like, figure it out. And if you want that time off, like, try to get that in 
as early. soon as you can or yeah. get it in now for next year. Yes. And so you when we see the, the calendar for next year, next Christmas, when it comes time, then that person's like, hey, I always take things like, well, sorry, snooze, you lose. Yeah. Sorry. I was in first. Yeah. I don't know. Quiz. Yeah. So I, I hopefully that gives you some ammo, some, you know, suggestions on how to move forward. But I I like the let's see if your boss has a boss or HR department and let's go that direction first and then maybe take Erica's suggestion and then just say, yeah, we couldn't work it out. Sorry. And yeah, maybe, or just send this little podcast over to your boss and say, you know what, have you heard the show? They're really entertaining. And then just uh, see what they say. Well, we don't want them to lie completely. <laughs> <laughs> About the entertaining part? Right, I got it. Exactly. All right, diving into the DMs there. Good luck. Hope it all works out for you. Maybe not this year, but maybe in the future. That's for sure.